everyone and welcome to the review of the Engue L20 and this is a very interesting bike uh, it's a fat bike of course but this is kind of an utility bike as it combines the logic of a cargo bike but it doesn't have the stretch long back for cargo it has actually a basket in the front and the rear rack so it's a utility bike as you can carry a lot of language and you can do things such as uh, delivery with it. and now going into more technical things the bike comes uh, fully EU legal there is a long discussion and this is getting uh, kind of tiring that in all my videos I have two kind of questions can this be unlocked or can this be locked uh, does this uh, do 25 kilometers per hour or can it do 40 kilometers per hour well this bike the L20 it's very similar with the engine X so it has a dual running mode so it has the European running mode in which the accelerator here doesn't work at all it only works by pedaling so it's assisted and the speed is locked to 25 kilometers per hour and the speed is limited to 250 watts of power and that's it so it's fully 100 percent eu legal and if you don't want that restrictions or you are on a private road uh, not open to public or uh, things like that and you really want to get some speed and some power well this bike is fully unlockable you can enable the throttle you can de-restrict the speed and this will do up to 40 kilometers per hour easy and i think that the power of the motor is similar with the ep2 pro something like that the engine x somewhere like that so just look at the size of the motor the motor housing is huge and actually this huge size of the uh, motor means one thing this bike has a lot of torque as the diameter of the motor the bigger it is the higher the torque is because it has this one is a planetary motor so it has planetary gears it has a crown the crown is as large as the housing of the motor so definitely this is intended to carry stuff so it should have pretty good acceleration it should have very good climbing power and that is to, to be tested today and for that of course i have de-restricted the bike i have removed the speed limit i'm going to show you how to do that in a separate video and how to enable the throttle it's not very complicated but it's not the scope of uh, today's video and we are going to assess the full performance of the bike to see how this thing rides at the full potential how the bike is uh, built with convenience in mind so if, if this is a cargo bike a utility bike that gets a lot of uh, riding and a lot of uh, ups and downs on it you also need comfort on it uh, so uh, Engwe has equipped this with their uh, uh, really known front fork that has a locking option and of course it has a preload adjusting here uh, there's no rear suspension but you get uh, fat tires so you can take some of the pressure out and it will soak the bumps now you get the highly requested bmx style handlebar on this bike because a lot of angle users if you look on the facebook group the official one you are going to see that they are modding their uh, handlebars from normal handlebars to bmx handlebars and this is actually a rather wide handlebar and gives you a very very good comfort you feel like riding a chopper on this and they also have improved the saddle a lot the new saddle is uh, super super soft it has a lot of cushioning and the front part here is also a bit wider and it has more more padding a very soft padding and it's very comfortable because of that then uh, with convenience in mind the battery is easy to swap out to replace it so if you do a lot of miles you can get an extra battery and when this is over you can quickly um, switch the battery and of course it has a key lock so it has ignition to power if you take the key out you are no longer being able to start the bike also you can lock and unlock the battery with this and you are going to say oh that's not a good design because the battery will hit the seat post so i need to take the seat out and what did Dengue do this and nope they added a smart saddle so you can fold it up like this and you have a handlebar here and the battery goes out in a second so really really good idea to have that 
in case you are wondering the battery is a 48 volt battery and it has the capacity of uh, 13 amp hour so this should provide decent amount of range uh, in a normal city usage and it slides right away you can see i can do this with just one hand and it's locked and turned on seat is back into position and as quickly as that you can change or take the battery with you and that's also good because if you park the uh, bike somewhere and you lock it up you can take the battery with you as a safety precaution and you can also charge it on the go while you wait for another order or you want to pick something up of course the battery will not charge very fast but you can get some juice into it while you are uh, waiting for something safety wise the Angue now comes with a very powerful front led headlamp but now it's uh, sunshine here it's hard to observe but this is very bright and it also has a refractor so if you don't turn it on you are going to still be seen by the cars that are going to hit you uh, you get side refractors on both wheels you have pedal refractors and on the rear you have a new tail lamp it's not the regular one that you get on the angles this one is super super powerful and it also has a built-in reflector and of course the angue style uh, brake lamp that's even more powerful when you activate the uh, brake levers and talking about the brakes brakes are 160 millimeters they are mechanically cable pulled um, uh, type ones but they change the uh, levers and now they have really nice looking levers they are more compact more slim they have this nice integration with the sensor for the brakes and they have silicone padding here that's not going to get off because that is held by screws so they did improve this a lot and you have this nice small uh, bell here included in the brake lever so pretty interesting design uh, i don't know about the calipers they are still looking to be yes single line pull single uh, brake pad works Pu uh, pushes on the disc the disc pushes on the other brake pads so regular simple uh, braking system as for uh, gearing uh, and uh, chain drive system it's rather standard angue system it's a seven speed uh, shimano system with quick shifter here with uh, plus button and uh, lever more interesting is a new display which is again a Yolin display and I simply love this Yolin displays and I cannot pull this off I'm going to try it uh, although I have some fingers na fingernails I cannot reach to it uh, if you have this problem you can actually use some tape put some tape over it and then pull the tape it's going to take that out I cannot do it now and it stresses me out so you get the idea uh, the Yolin display is nice because it permits quickly modding your bike so you can lift the speed limit uh, quickly you can enable it and the Yolin controller uh, display with the built-in angry controller permits activation and deactivation of the throttle again very fast so you can change the running mode of your bike so enough with the talk already let's ride it to see how this performs to get the idea of uh, the dynamics of the bike i weigh around 87 kilograms i have a heavy loaded backpack today and this has about four to five kilograms luckily i have the front basket and with the front basket i'm no longer going to carry that on my back so it's going to be pretty cool i need to do something with this so they do not get caught in the wheel and i really hope that this is going to be an enjoyable ride so kickstand very solid but you know it it's the standard angue upgraded one and holds the weight really nice so i'm going to power on the display you need to hold power for about two or three seconds and it lights up the display is readable in uh, daylight even in sunlight but probably on the camera you are not going to see anything also interesting that uh, somehow the basket being fixed to the front of the bike doesn't mess it up with the cables because they are really nicely wrapped up together and you also have this extra hook here that hopefully you are going to see that holds this in place so it doesn't catch over this really really well uh, thought up design of that so 
let's see here i'm on first gear zero gear so no assistance can i pedal this like a normal bike yes i can pedal it and i'm actually now on fourth gear uh, but the bike rides really pleasant and i'm going to tell you why so the motor being planetary it also has a one-way clutch so when you are uh, actually not pedaling or not using any kind of power the motor disengages from the shaft of the bike so it doesn't put up any kind of resistance there is no magnetic cogging and no drag so if you stop pedaling the bike will roll on just like an absolutely normal regular e-bike and you can see it's running and running and running and running and there's no stopping it uh, that makes it very very efficient uh, this doesn't stay here too well hopefully it's not going to fall down right so let's see can i pedal this faster i think i can but that's not the scope of this tutorial this review so i'm doing 15 kilometers per hour with leg power and i can still have some gear changes but that's enough so i'm going to low, go on low gear and i'm going to select the assisted level one so let's now start with the assisted level one so there's a slight delay and the motor kicked in kind of brutally kicked in very fast and now i'm doing something like 10 km per hour assisted so let's go on to gear two and that acceleration really kicks in really kicks you and i'm doing 50 km per hour i need to change a gear this is very comfortable pedaling and now another gear whoa and it jumped right away to 22 km per hour keep in mind that this is unlocked currently so i get a lot more performance than the locked option and i'm already in fifth gear and i'm not putting any effort into it so i need to go one more gear now it's starting to be some kind of 50 50 assistant now fourth gear i really need to change gears here i'm on last gear on seventh gear and i'm doing very comfortable 30 kilometers per hour i'm pedaling with decent speed it's not too fast uh, i have plenty of uh, power i can even make it a bit faster and i can push it to 31 maybe 32 but that gets tiring so the cruising speed with this unlock 30 kilometers per hour uh, you can pedal this without any kind of problem and if you really want to go fast and you have a delivery that is urgent then the activated throttle will jump into helping you i have stopped pedaling i'm not doing anything and i'm already at 38 kilometers per hour 39 40 and this is still going oh it keeps it at 41 kilometers per hour while the brakes the brakes are very good they don't squeal interesting no noise no funny noise and they stop you so probably with a lighter rider with a lower weight on it it's probably going to do even a faster speed also i'm not running the tires uh, at uh, full pressure i'm running them at i think that it was 12 psi i'm not sure right now but they are rather soft because i wanted to see how good they are in cushioning bumps like this so this curb feels like nothing the front suspension works really well the preload does the job perfectly you can feel the curb with the rear wheel but again the fat tire soaks up most of the impact of the shock so it's not going to be uh, annoying to you uh, also this with the new very soft saddle 
makes it really, really comfortable. It feels like almost having a full suspension bike. Also, first I have uh, also heard the first noise. So there is a noise on this bike and it's this one. Hopefully you are going to see, uh, hear it on the video. It's the brake cable that hits the front metal mudguard. And this acceleration, this acceleration is really, really nice. I actually feel that this bike has better acceleration than the EP2 and the Engine X. It doesn't have the it doesn't have the same top speed probably, but the acceleration uh, I really enjoy it. Let's do that from standstill. So Already 20, 30, 35, 38, 40, and it's still going. So the speed, the speed is there, but the acceleration is gorgeous. For, for a cargo bike, this is brilliant brilliant so the motor really has more torque than the others so i bet that the shape of the motor uh, has something to do with this as it provides uh, a higher crown gear Alright, so you have seen how this uh, bike rides, how it looks, how it feels, how it works and it's time for some uh, final conclusions and I'm going to try to be a bit faster than usual because uh, I've got some uh, critics that are saying that my videos are getting way too long and I should uh, just skip to the idea. So right, so the bike rides absolutely fabulous. Uh, 
uh, it has a very good uh, comfortable feeling uh, you can uh, carry a lot of things so those are of course seen from the beginning um, I'm truly impressed about that motor so Engwe really did some magic with that motor because it has huge amount of torque so it has a very very good acceleration goes uphill like it's nothing so really really uh, great, uh, handles all kind of uh, terrain. So top speed is also great, as you've seen you can reach and get over 40 km per hour without any kind of problems and the gearing is also nice as in uh, uh, seventh uh, gear here you can uh, a comfortable pedal at 30 km per hour so the gearing is very good and also if you are sticking to European uh, rules and use the bike up to 25 km per hour the gearing is perfect because it has low gears and high gears uh, with a range uh, in between so it helps you in all situations. Other interesting touches are this uh, new uh, rear rack and front rack. The rear rack and front rack now have uh, maximum loading capacity written on them so this is 25 kilograms and the front one is uh, uh, maximum 13 kilograms. Also the rear one has some nuts fitted into it so you can actually use screws to fit something here so you can have more uh, fixed uh, um, adding of something maybe a bigger basket or something like that and you can carry more with it you can fit here maybe a second chair a baby chair uh, that fits very very uh, tight with screws the front basket is also very interesting because it has all of these uh, eyelets so when you put something you can use straps and uh, fix everything together and uh, hold it uh, very tight i also like the metal work on this uh, angle so they use here a reinforcement for the this part so you have two pipes that are welded also on this part here where the single pipe welds to the headset they used an additional triangle here and welded it so it reinforces the whole welding area here also on the back you don't have simple forks that go in through the frame you have also some extra weldings here to hold the forks uh, better here there are actually two of them so this part here is very strong other things worth mentioning is this cap here so you have quick access to the controller so if something happens you can take this up and uh, check it also on this side here the motor wire uh, comes with a plug so if you do a flat tire on your rear it's very easy to take the wheel out you no longer need to pull the cable out from the controller you just take the plug off and you know that my motto is that there is no perfect thing so now there are also some cons and the cons are uh, two of them uh, the front mark guard which is very sensitive to noise uh, it touches with the brake cable sometimes and creates a lot of uh, noise you can fix that by putting here a zip tie to hold the brake uh, cable a bit further from this mud guard but there also here where the cable rubs with the metal wire of uh, holding the, the holder bracket here so also here you should put a zip tie so these do not vibrate between them and when they vibrate they generate a sounding noise here the second con is the seat post so Engwe uh, until now used some liners inside these pipes so when you adjusted the seat up and down or took it away it would slide nicely onto a plastic sleeve and it will not uh, scratch well this one is metal on metal like uh, regular older bikes and you can see that I have already scratched it because I forgot to check this if it's tightened up enough and when I the seat first time on this it slided inside and scratched the paint here so that was it uh, for now i hope that uh, you have enjoyed the review of the angwe l20 be sure to follow my next uploads where i'm also going to post a video on how to remove the speed limit how to activate the throttle so you should know how to operate those if you do not need to abide uh, by them so until then see you and bye bye